These bugs may look pretty, but don't be fooled. If you live on the East Coast or Midwest, they've been popping up everywhere, wreaking havoc on fruit crops and trees. These guys are called spotted lanternflies, and they're not the only ones you should worry about. Invasive species are plants, animals, or other living organisms that are not native to a particular area and don't belong there. Their presence can lead to biodiversity loss and the extinction of native plants and animals, which could ultimately affect our food, medicines, and clean water. To be considered invasive, a species must adapt to a new area easily, reproduce quickly, and destroy habitats. They tend to outcompete native species for food and thrive because there are no predators to hunt them. In the last 200 years, the introduction of invasive species has continually increased globally, with more than a third of introductions happening between 1970 and 2014. Many invasive species are introduced to a new region accidentally, like through the water tanks of cargo ships, or by getting into firewood, shipping pallets, or crates that move around the world. That's how the spotted lanternfly, native to China, Vietnam, and India, is believed to have arrived to Pennsylvania around 2014. Its eggs are believed to have come on shipments of stone. Zebra mussels, native to Eastern Europe and Central Asia, also arrived to the U.S. Great Lakes by hitching onto large ships. There are now so many in the Great Lakes that they have threatened native species, destroyed boat engines, and damaged pipes at water plants. Scientists estimate that five to 10,000 species are traveling around the world at any given time attached to big ships. Some invasive species are brought to a new area on purpose without anticipating the consequences. Some Florida pet owners released Burmese pythons native to the jungles of Southeast Asia into the Florida Everglades. There, they have few natural predators and feast on many local species. That's similarly to how Nutria, a large rodent native to South America, came to wreak havoc on the Gulf Coast and Chesapeake Bay. Ranchers brought them over in the late 1800s to breed them for fur. When the market collapsed, ranchers released them into the wild. Now they're a major pest, eating tall grasses and rushes, plants that are vital to the region's wetlands and ecosystem. Invasive species are one of the leading threats to native wildlife. Almost half of threatened or endangered species are at risk due to invasive species. And for 18% of U.S. endangered or threatened species, invasives are the main cause of their decline. And it's probably only going to get worse. As the world contends with climate change, our ecosystems will likely alter. Some invasive species may thrive while native organisms, stressed by climate change, decline. To do your part in preventing the growth of invasive species, hikers should clean their boots before hiking in a new area. Pet owners should never release pets in